Hello guys and welcome back to the FEI channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I am joined with Joe Stockdale and Gracie Ty and we're going to be talking all things the Olympics from our favourite disciplines and our favourite horse and rider partnerships. Hello, my name is Gracie Tite from Pony Nuts and I'm a young eventer, if you can call me that. I'm 17 years old and I currently have the ride on a lovely horse called Todd as well as producing my own young Connemara called Johnny. Hi, I'm Joe Stockdale, international show jumper. I'm based here in Northampton. I've got three really top horses at the minute which have all stepped up to five star level and they include Equine America Casherelle, Equine America Don Diego de Plata and Equine America Candleford. Tricky one because I really like them all um, but I think we're going to have to go with Laura Collar and London 52 just because I followed them on social media for a really long time and I love seeing how much Laura adores her horses and just treats them like family. I think it's so nice to be able to see the behind the scenes of such a great partnership, not just seeing all their winnings, but also seeing him just being himself at home. I think it's so sweet and it's nice to be able then to see them like on the big screen at the Olympics. Outside of the equestrian sport, what discipline do you make sure you watch? Well, to be honest, I mainly just focus on the equestrian. I'm not really into any other sports and if something is on the TV, I might sit down for 10 minutes and probably just watch it. But with having a yard full of horses outside, they are my main priority. So if I do have any spare time, I'm mainly outside either cleaning up the yard or riding some of my horses. Um, not one sport in particular. I've been uh, watching pretty much all of the Olympics in the morning um, when I wake up, uh, but I have been quite keen on watching the golf. Who is your favorite non-equestrian athlete? I am I am pretty much a equestrian diehard, so if I had to choose, it would probably be maybe Roger Federer, the tennis player. He, I was watching him the other day and he is immensely talented, so I would probably say him. Leading on from the fact that I used to do gymnastics, I actually met Max Whitlock when I was younger, so I like following him because you know, it's pretty crazy to see someone like win a medal after meeting them. I also really like staying on the gymnastic um, idea. I like Simone Biles, um, mainly because, from Team USA, mainly because just what she does just seems absolutely insane to me. She literally has movements she can do, which no one else can do. Like, the other athletes don't know how to perform the move that she's doing. That's just crazy to me. That's literally like she's in a league of her own. It's amazing. What would you say to people who don't think equestrian sports belong in the Olympics? Well, personally, I think it's a very unfair opinion in many ways. At the end of the day, we are basically riding a wild animal and it's between horse and rider. The partnership is two, not just one. There's so much time and effort that goes into these animals, it's not just something that you've got to prep yourself for, you're also prepping an animal for. It can take up to oh, years and years and years of training to get them up to that level in the Olympics. And it's a timeless sport. The athletes can go mostly a lot longer than other sports such as athletics and all genders can do it. Everyone has an equal opportunity no matter who you are and it is just mainly a, a true partnership between horse and rider. Oh, that, can't, that really bugs me. Like, I, I don't understand it. Why would you even say that? Like, of course it deserves to be in the Olympics as a sport. First of all, I'd like to see these people that say that get on a horse. I do see quite a lot of stick about it sometimes though in the media. Like, people being like, it's just a horse like dancing. But if they were to sit on that horse and try and make that horse dance for like two seconds, they would definitely have a change of mind. If equestrianism shouldn't be in the Olympics, then why should running be in the Olympics? Like, surely running is easier than controlling a half-ton animal. What do you think is the easiest equestrian discipline? This is the FEI trying to get me into trouble. So, okay, I don't want to get myself into trouble, but they are all really, really hard disciplines. It's years of skill, so much hard work, again, in each discipline, but, if I had to choose for the British public, I would mostly say show jumping is a lot easier to understand because it's pretty obvious all you've got to do is go clear and you've got a good chance of winning. Where with dressage, even me, sometimes looking at the movements, I'm like, is that right? Is that wrong? So it's a lot more easier to understand than what dressage or eventing would be 
for the, the non-equestrian public? Ooh. I don't think there is one. I actually don't think there is one. Like, I can't even sit here and say one because I genuinely don't believe there is one. I'm not even saying that for the camera, but I, I think every single question discipline requires such different skills and talents and just is so difficult. I would say eventing's the hardest, but I'm probably biased because I'm an eventer. Um, and also it contains all like three disciplines, all of the three disciplines. But then you've also got like disciplines that aren't in the Olympics, like for example, I don't know, mounted games. Like that's hard. I tried that once and I couldn't do it for the life of me. How do they bolt on this horse from the floor, like going so quick? So yeah, I think they all are just as equally difficult in their own rights. Um, I wouldn't say there's really one that is easy. They're all very different, um, all got very different aspects to them, but Essentially, yeah, they're all pretty difficult in their own right. Who is your favourite horse at the Olympics? I would say my favourite horse would have to be Vogue. He is just, I have a bit of a obsession with beautiful black shiny horses. So Vogue would be at the top of my list. And then there was an American horse called Sancio. I'm sure that was its name. And he was just magical to watch, so beautiful. Okay, so my favourite horse who is at the Olympics has got to be Ballamore class. I've loved that horse since I first saw him go around Babington. Must be quite a few, couple of years ago now. Um, but I absolutely love him. He really reminds me of my boys. Not in anything other than the fact he's also grey. Um, he doesn't move at all similar like to my grey boys, but he is grey and I like seeing a grey because I can imagine it's either Johnny or Todd. Um, I'd have to say Explosion W with Ben Mayer. If you were to have a go at an Olympic equestrian discipline that wasn't your own, what would you choose? I would... I would probably choose eventing because I'm aiming to get a bit fitter and that seems very, very, very hard. So I would say eventing because in that way I can also have a go at dressage and do all three at once. So I would say definitely eventing. Um, I think I'd have to choose the eventing because I've tried one dressage test and it hasn't gone very well. Even though I've got to do one in that, at least I can maybe make it up in the show jumping and possibly the cross country. Mine would be Carl and Charlotte and Isabel Worth. And in that way, I think it would be Unstoppable. So if I create my own team, it'd probably be Michael Young with La Bia Aesthetique Sam. Um, probably just absolutely butchered the name. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, and then and then I think I'd have I think I'd have Chilly Morning in there with William Fox Pitt. I just I just really like that combination. I think William is so secure in the saddle. Um, and I really, I really admire that actually. I think he's a tall guy, isn't he? And to keep so secure in a saddle is so impressive. Um, I'd have Michael Young because I think they're a really, really strong combination. Well, they won two Olympics in a row, so can't really fault that, to be honest. And for my final person, I think I'd go Pippa Funnel with Supreme Rock because they won Babington back to back, and that's quite a feat too. Um, I love Pippa Funnel. I'm actually a major fangirl of Pippa Funnel major fango read all her books literally bit of a fango i would say i put daniel doiser on killer queen i'd say steve gerda on bianca i put scott brush on sanctos and i have ben mayer on explosion what young riders competing on the circuit do you think are heading for the olympic pathway so that's very hard to say Molly Summerland, who's smashing it on the eventing, and then dressage. Uh, well, honestly, there's so many good up and coming riders. I think everyone's got a good chance at this point. So um, it's just who puts in the most uh, effort. I think Heidi Coy. I think Heidi Coy has a really good chance, as does Bobby Upton. Um, I think. Ellie Fredericks, whose mum is Lucinda Fredericks, um, she has a good chance. She's got amazing string forces. 
and also um, Phoebe Hughes. I think Phoebe Hughes has a really good chance too. She won. She won Belle Junior Two Star Long format like a couple of months ago, and she has two really great horses, and they do the most amazing dressage test. Um, I think she has a good chance too. I think she's a really good rider. Lottie Fry has a, has slightly stolen the show, being aged 25 at her Olympic debut. What do you think of that? Oh, it is absolutely mind blowing. She is so determined. You can clearly tell she has the best team of people behind her. She rode every single inch of that test, and you can clearly tell she is so dedicated to the sport and the pressure she must have been going through at that young age to represent her own country must have been petrifying for her. So yeah, I take my hat off to uh, Lottie Fry. Which have been your favourite Olympics? It would have to be 2012 for me when it was on home turf in Britain, in London. That was just magical to watch with the whole nation behind it and seeing our riders compete here. It was just amazing, obviously, for them all to get gold as well. So yeah, for me it would be 2012. I think I think I'm gonna have to say I think I'm gonna have to say 2012 just because it was on home ground and that's always nice, isn't it? I would have done a lot to go and see that um, in person, but we didn't get to. But I would have I would have done a lot of things to go see that in person. But it was still amazing to be on home soil. Which equestrian sport do you think should become an Olympic sport and why? So recently I have just tried out polo and I didn't really expect it to be so difficult. So I certainly think polo should be a great team, team sport to be put into the Olympics. Um, I think it'll be really entertaining to watch.